Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about one of the most exciting and the oldest hero pairs, uh, especially if you are a Wilderberg player or in general you like to utilize every single hero you have uh, inside of Call of Dragons. Uh, this build will be really really interesting for you because uh, I think that's the only viable option for Wilderberg special units which are wyverns to be useful on the battlefield maybe in the future we will have better hero especially legendary hero to utilize wyverns but uh, right now that's not the case uh, we need to use whatever we have uh, the wyverns are special unit of the uh, wilderberg faction uh, they are marksmen range and flying uh, units um, well the march speed is pretty low uh, like sometimes even i got mistaken whenever i played with wyverns at first i thought because the unit is flying i thought it should be faster but yeah it's normal marksman uh, march speed which is pretty sad in my opinion but that's fine uh, what's important we have marksman's uh, physical attack and that's the main type of damage you are dealing with the wyverns uh, in my opinion uh, there is only one uh, correct way um, like from my own experience to play with the wyverns uh, and it's about uh, epic hero craig well uh, in the game um, like we are playing this game already for one year and uh, epic heroes are not meta in general right um, like legendary heroes are way way better but in general craig i think is the exception with the Waldir, which i still see and myself use especially as a free-to-play player well the all about the wyvern build is having craig as a primary hero and uh thea is a secondary i understand there is like fragar which is flying hero which you can use uh, with the wyverns but i think fragar is especially good with Sindrion. that's why i would not touch fragar at all for the wyverns uh, why Craig should be primary hero instead of uh, Thea? Well, answer is pretty simple. You have to use the marksman tree, uh, and uh, that should be the way for you to play the uh, wyverns because you are buffing the wyverns, which are marksman units. Uh, here, Thea has an overall type of. Uh, talent tree with pvp and support and i think that's a good thing to have uh in general for other things maybe you prefer to be a lot more tanky then you are going to run tia but i think for more damage in general in the battlefield um craig should be the primary hero and the tia uh, the secondary well what makes the craig uh, so unique that people are still using uh, this hero and myself we need to understand the skill sets of the uh crew the uh epic hero in general well the main skill is always the first skill in terms of heroes in this game uh, the main skill is pretty unique in, uh, for the Craig uh, which deals damage to the target legion and deals additional damage to up to two nearest legions damage legions gain bleed and bleed is simply like a poison um, which is dealing damage for three seconds uh, damage factor is 800 um, other legion like second legions damage is 300 and bleed is 200 if you're gonna add up all of this, uh, especially if you have Awakened, right, like uh, Awakened Epic Hero is pretty easy, you generally have like same type of the skill damage factor as a legendary hero, like in terms of numbers. Uh, that's the most unique fact about uh, Epic Hero Craig, in my opinion. Well, I understand um, Craig has an engineering skill, which is uh, useless, but still... And the second skill, hero skill damage deal bonus to 10% and march speed, which like marksmen actually need. We have 20%, which is a great thing to have. Uh, the third skill is like simply buff uh, attack and defense both um, both of them are 10 uh, 10 percent like pretty normal for epic hero the useless skill the engineering skill which will be uh, will have uh, like zero use in terms of pvp and in general fighting which we are not going to speak much right and of course awakening skill simply deals more damage for the first skill like a whole craig playstyle is built around the first skill which is pretty normal um, so this is like the play style you are you are having epic hero which has like legendary hero damage on the main skill 
and also pretty interesting buffs uh, which is buffing himself like this is skill damage factor and march speed is great of course engineering skill is bad but still i think for epic hero it's good enough right why craig is uh, good with thea well thea brings a lot of buffs uh like simply you are buffing your craig so much that it kind of becomes legendary hero that's my opinion about this hero pair that's the main idea about this hero pair uh, like uh, Thea is giving us shield factor, more tankiness, epic heroes are more squishy, the shield will give us more survivability. Um, hero skill damage 15%, uh, that's the Craig's main damage type, which is skill damage factor. Uh, attack bonus, uh, well, Craig also has 10% attack bonus and Thea has 15%, already synergy. Hero skill damage taken reduction, more survivability, we are making Craig as um as like legendary hero as i have mentioned right like you need to move way more stats to be like legendary hero the third skill like defense and attack bonus same stats uh, and march speed like we had the same stats here attack bonus defense bonus and the march speed already like you are adding up too much stats and the fourth skill again buffs for us to make craig as uh, strong as possible that's the main idea behind this build and of course if you will awaken uh thea you will have like more shields especially if you are marksman main you have a couple of marksman legions and you are giving uh shields to more legions in general the i think the in terms of skills the playstyle is pretty simple uh, marksmen are pretty slow you are buffing a lot of march speed you will be uh, faster than like general marksmen and you are dealing skill damage factor but like you are using craig but you are buffing craig so much that uh, Craig feels like a legendary hero. Uh, I think that's the main idea behind Craig and Thea playstyle for the Wyverns. Uh, I think uh, right now there is not a better choice in terms of Wyverns, so maybe in the future. I, I was actually waiting for flying uh, hero for Wyverns in this next two hero set, but uh, we are not getting it. I guess uh, in next seasons we will have a uh, Wyvern hero which will be suitable for the Wyvern playstyle. Yet again, I will repeat um, we have uh, Freygar, which is flying hero. Uh, you, you can play with the Wyverns, but Freygar and Syndron and Freygar is like an amazing hero pair. You don't want to break it if you have. Uh, that's my main idea. I have Syndron and Freygar, and I don't want to break them, uh, even though they are just simply free to play 511 and 511, uh, 5112 Freygar. So, yeah, that's like main idea behind the playstyle of the Craig and the Thea. Now let's choose which kind of, as I mentioned, like Craig is primary hero uh, and which kind of uh, talents you should use for the Craig as a primary hero. As I have mentioned, marksman talent tree will be uh, most suitable because you want to buff your marksman uh, wyverns because wyverns are marksmen. My choice is like shower of blows um, uh, and uh, uh, burst shot um, simply because burst shot is like an additional damage factor. Uh, we are making Craig as uh, core copy of the legendary hero is possible right and of course whenever you finish your marksman tree more mobility for uh, for marksman units in general is great because marksman is one of the most slowest um, legions in terms of marks uh, march speed in general of course uh, that's like the playstyle i have been trying and i have a huge success uh, in terms of merits like um, uh, usually i was getting like 20,000 merits per per legion uh, and my playstyle is to survive as much as possible this is how you can get more merits in general that's the talent tree which i'm running uh, you can try it by yourself maybe you will like it and you will keep it or maybe uh, you prefer your own uh, like whenever i'm making these guides i'm always speaking about my own experience in terms of artifacts, well, uh, so far um, I'm using the Heart Purser, but of course there is much better choices. I'm using Heart Purser because I'm playing with uh, three or four or Marksman Legion, and I don't have that much legendary artifacts uh, because I'm using Shadow Blades on my Nico and Kinara, uh, Heart of Gamasi on Syndrion, and the one last artifact, uh, last artifact I have for Marksman is. Uh, 
Hertz Purser. But in general, let's uh, imagine that we have a choice which kind of artifact will be better. Like, in my opinion, simply uh, like a South artifact, uh, any kind of a South artifact will be fine, such as like more free to play friendly artifact, which is Shadow Blades, uh, will be totally fine. I'm like. Uh, stats on the shadow blade is great attacking type uh, of course um, whenever you are moving uh, in terms of defensive ones you are going with heart of kamasi uh, that's like uh, thea is bringing you defense and i think uh, heart of kamasi will give you additional defense and you will be more and more tanky uh, that's the playstyle. maybe you want to run uh, that's a good choice and of course some uh, expensive artifacts which is still viable which is gold crest i know gold crest is great with syndrome but of course you can use with craig and thea like main idea about this hero pair is that you can you have a variety of choice of artifacts you can use like rattle spear is same like you can use almost every single artifact which is for marksmen on this hero pair that's why it is like too much free to play friendly uh, hero pair in my opinion of course, we shouldn't uh, forget about Warpets. Um, I'm running with Snoopy Croc. In my opinion, there is like only three marksmen um, Warpets in the game currently. First one is Snoopy Croc, second one is uh, uh, Nitrock, and the third one is uh, uh, Sand Lizard, which I have for sure. Yeah, Sand Lizard. Um, between uh, both, between these three, of course, I'm not going to use Sand Lizard because, like, Craig and Thea is flying hero and Sand Lizard is like uh, moving on the airs, so it will be awkward. So, I have only two choices Nitrock and uh, Snoopy Croc. Nitrock is mainly specialized with normal attack and crit, uh, crit damage, which is not the playstyle I'm running on the Craig and Thea. And I think uh, Snoopy Croc is like most. Uh, uh, like good uh, warpet which you can have between the other warpets which we have in the game currently um i think like the damage factor you are getting concent from the concentration is fine of course i still need some more work in terms of craig's warpet um, skills uh, i'm not speaking about in general skill cell at all like i have my different priorities right now but in general i think snow pick uh, playstyle will be fine for now maybe in the future uh, we will get more um Warpets for the marksman and the other warpet will be uh, much much better suited for the uh, Craig and Thea playstyle. Uh, of course, in terms of getting uh, like uh, Craig and Thea, it's pretty easy. Um, like it's really really easy to awaken epic hero in this game in general because you are opening too much uh, silver chests and then gold um like from the gold chest uh, epic heroes are pretty uh, normal to get uh, like that's like really really easy to get in general awakened hero and or as an epic for the thea of course from, from the gold chest you can get thea which makes this hero pair even better because uh, by some time uh, it will be like a couple of months while or two months until you will have Craig as an awakened hero and Thea of course if you will invest like in general whenever there is heroes you can get from the gold chests that's like most uh, free to play friendly heroes in the game uh, that's why I think uh, Craig and Thea is uh, pretty good if you are playing as a Wilderberg in general you have to utilize your wyverns that's my opinion and so far I think uh, that's the only way uh, to play with the Craig and Thea uh, with the wyverns uh, because like I, I don't know as a free-to-play player uh, 15 20 22 25 thousand merits I have gotten through the battles uh, with this hero pair um, so far I have like uh, 7.8 million merits like this whole season I have been fighting and I, I, I gathered enough uh, experience to talk about heroes which are getting uh, overlooked and uh, might be good so try it your by yourself if you will like the hero pair of course share your view share your your opinion it always matters because uh, like i like to have a community who speaks in general because it's way more fun to play this game whenever you have a lot people a lot of people who are talking about the game in general as always if you like the video like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation to make videos for this game um, i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are um, i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye and good luck